Hello, this is Seneca Harris. Um, once again, we're back with part two of our download series. Um, this is the Urban Coalition where we shine a light on issues impacting the urban community. Today we have the privilege and the honor to talk to author Terrence Dean. Um, he's the writer of Hiding in Hip Hop. Um, like I said, it's really a pr privilege to have you today. Um, we're going to continue our um, discussion about this issue that's impacting our community um, and we really need to get this dialogue out here so first of all we want to um, thank you for being on um, I guess our first before we jump into the book I guess I want to you know can you um, let everyone know a little bit about yourself and um, and how you came about you know to the point to where you felt comfortable discussing this issue and where this you know idea of coming out to tell everybody how did that come about okay uh, well thank you for you know, doing the interview I appreciate you reaching out to me uh, to talk about the issue as it relates to our community um, a little about myself I you know um, at the, this is my second book my first book is called Reclaim Your Power A 30 Day Guide to Hope Healing and Inspiration for Men of Color and that's you know, inspiration book for men of color, and then hiding in hip hop on the download entertainment industry, from music to Hollywood is my second book, and I wanted to, you know, it's a memoir of my life that chronicles my journey um, from childhood to adulthood, um, my experiences as it relates to uh, my sexuality and the black community and also working within a very homophobic environment, which is called hip hop. So I talk about my struggle and my journey within that culture and that lifestyle um, of hip hop and entertainment industry. And the turmoil and a lot of the pain and a lot of things that I went through, um, struggling with my sexuality, not being able to reveal who I really was, mm -hmm. but also meeting other men and women were also dealing with the same issues and challenges that I was dealing with. So I really wanted to write the book because I wanted to bring light to um, the the download subculture, gay subculture that exists in hip hop. How even though there are many of us who are part of this culture and lifestyle um, of hip hop, we are contributors of it. However, we are the you know getting lambasted by the rappers and the artists make up this, this industry. So, you know, we're not respected. Um, just so much as, like, you know, black women are always, you know, degraded in this industry as well. Mm -hmm. So, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about sex and sexuality. I thought it was important when we began a dialogue and talking about it with our community because we don't talk, discuss it. That's why we look at the numbers of HIV and AIDS in our community. We're the largest and most infected community. Um, within the United States and across the country, rather. So I want to bring that to it, bring light to that attention as well. And mm -hmm. there's this dialogue that is so definitely needed within our community, and just hopefully um, help people to understand um, those who are dealing with their sexual sexuality, what, it, what it's like, and also to bring an understanding and enlightenment to how we can start furthering that dialogue and mm -hmm. decrease the incidences of homophobia. Okay. Yeah, I was going to tell you, I, I really um, I picked the book up and I read it and I was very impressed. Um, and like I tell everybody, if, you, if you're just looking to buy the book just to find out, you know, who's gay and who's not, I mean, you're kind of missing the point because really we got a sense of where you came from and your personal struggle. And it was kind of like, you know, to me, it was more like a uplifting, powerful means of, you know, helping other people in your similar situation. And that's what I pretty much took from the book. And it, and to me, I think people should really um, check it out because um, it's very inspirational. Um, from stories I hear and from people I personally know, I mean, it's... Um, you hear hear a lot of the same things, so you know it's really coming from someone that knows what they're talking about, and it's been there and been through the struggle. So I guess my next question is, 
what criticisms have you received from black entertainment? Because I know you touched on not only the hip hop commun community, but as far as Hollywood is concerned and um, just other black sec sectors of, you know, entertainment and music and things like that. So have you really um, had a lot of criticism and did you take that into account before writing the book? Right. 